In this video, we're going to add safety annotations to our map. So to do this, we just come down to the fire hydrant icon here and click it to enter safety annotation mode. So you'll notice that this panel showed up on the right um, and we have several different categories of symbols to choose from. Um, so you can just scroll this list to see what's available to you or you can simply search. For example, I know that I wanna place a fire alarm pole station. So I just click that and you'll see that the symbol is tied to my cursor. Um, so if I want to place this, I just zoom into where I want it and click. And you'll notice it's still tied to my cursor, so I can place several if I want to. However, we don't actually need this many, so I'm going to press Escape um, to exit the stamping mode. And then I'm going to select one of them and then hold Shift, select the second one, and then I can delete them in bulk. So now I'm going to continue adding annotations to my map. I know, for example, that I want an accessible elevator. I know that I want to denote the primary entrance. So again, each time I'm just clicking the symbol in the list and then clicking get to place. I also know that I want to place a lockbox for the first responders so they can figure out where the keys are to the building. Okay, so once I'm done placing annotations, I can either click this icon or click this X on the panel to exit the safety annotations mode. You'll notice when I do this that all the icons hid. Um, that's really just to make mapping easier when you're not placing them. So it doesn't clutter up the map. Um, it allows you to focus on the geometry. And then when you do wanna place annotations, you just enter the mode. So just know that the icons are not deleted. They are still there, they're just hidden. And you may be asking where these annotations, uh, where they show up. So we can download a safety PDF and they'll show up there. Um, we can also preview our 3D map and they'll be on the 3D map as well. So I'm just going to preview now. Okay, so we've got our 3D preview pulled up. If I zoom into our main entrance, you can see the four annotations that I placed in the editor. So if I uh, hover over top of them, it'll actually tell me what each one is. This is helpful because if you send this map to your local fire station, for example, and they don't know what one of the icons means, they can just hover on top of it and it'll tell them what it means. Um, and you notice that if I zoom out or move around the map, that the icons will stay a similar size. So it's very easy to see kind of what's underneath them if an icon is blocking something. And that's everything you need to know to place safety annotations on your map.